Hello, my name is Christian Cassell, lead forecaster and fire weather program leader at the National Weather Service in Great Falls. This briefing is geared toward our fire weather partners and will cover much of the next week. While this briefing will cover the generalities of the weather forecast for the next week, I encourage you to call our office for more specific details at any time. As for the fire weather highlights for the next week, the trend will be toward generally warmer than normal temperatures on average, with most areas remaining dry, both from a humidity perspective and from a shower and thunderstorm perspective. We can also expect afternoon breezes most afternoons, especially Tuesday in association with the frontal passage. With the cold frontal passage Tuesday, southern and eastern fire districts will see a chance of widely scattered showers and thunderstorms. Zonal flow develops from Wednesday through Friday, which will bring continued warm and dry conditions with afternoon breezes during the peak heating hours. By next weekend, a front moving south out of Canada may bring some clouds, a few showers and or thunderstorms, and moderate temperatures and humidity a bit. Here's the midnight Sunday morning uh, weather map showing a ridge of high pressure or, or high pressure over the central states in the southwest with a low pressure system over the Pacific off the Pacific Northwest coast. And we will see this low pressure system weaken as it moves on shore here through the next several days and push a front across uh, through Tuesday. Here's our five-day precipitation forecast. So this will go through Thursday morning. And you can see we're not really predicting a lot of precipitation to fall. Um, the best chance of showers and thunderstorms will be today, Monday, and Tuesday, but especially Tuesday as we see the front pass through during the afternoon. And we do expect some showers and thunderstorms to develop mainly over our southern in eastern, eastern districts, although we cannot rule out a shower or thunderstorm over the western and northern districts either. So again, our fire weather risk uh, through the next um, seven days, um, today's fire weather risk, uh, this is not considering fuels at all, so that's very important to to mention, but today's uh, higher temperatures and low humidity values uh, in the teens and temperatures well into the 80s today will mean uh, an increased elevated fire weather risk today. Uh, any showers or thunderstorms to stay mainly confined to the southern and eastern districts. The same will be the case for uh, Monday. Monday. And then on Tuesday with the cold frontal passage, we'll see winds increase behind the front and humidity values uh, diminish. So winds increase, humidity uh, lower. So we'll see a significant fire weather risk. And again, this does not uh, account for any of uh, the greenness of the fuels. This is just a purely weather perspective here. As we go into Wednesday and Thursday, we'll go into a drier and uh, more zonal flow or, or fast west to east flow aloft. So what that will mean is continued warmer uh, conditions well into the 80s with humidities down in the teens and 20s. And uh, afternoon breezes generally 15 to 20 miles per hour in gusts, but otherwise fairly light. Then on Friday, we start to see winds increase again and temperatures uh, continue to remain warm. Uh, a cold front will begin to approach from Canada. And then by Saturday, we should see a moderating trend with the chance of showers and um, thunderstorms. Um, our grassland fire danger index, again, this does account for uh, the curing of, of uh, grasses in the grasslands. And again, the only really 
concern with how green things are currently would be for Tuesday with winds behind the cold front. Otherwise, it looks to remain fairly um, low risk through the next seven days. Looking ahead to the six to 10 day outlook, and we're expecting a, uh, a decent chance for above normal temperatures through the July 13th through 17th period. But notice uh, very warm anomalies over the uh, west coast region, and also uh, over the much of the northeastern United States. Uh, perhaps more significantly, there's a, de a very good chance that precipitation will be below normal during this period. So, and then as we go into the 8 to 14 day period, uh, we do see uh, a near equal chance for most of Montana for um, either above or below normal temperatures or near normal temperatures. But in the 8 to 14 day range, notice still there's still increased chances for below normal precipitation. So that concludes the fire weather briefing. Again, please give us a call here at the office anytime if you have any more um, specific questions in mind or need any more details. And with that, we'll plan on trying to do the next briefing on Thursday. Thank you very much.